In the Geometry Dash community, there have been many extremely skilled players such as Riot, Serve, and Trusta. These players have spent thousands of attempts in their best accomplishments such as 25k attempts on Bloodbath and 50k attempts on Yadagarasu. However, there are players that I call alien players that use these levels in such low time and attempts that I sometimes ask myself if they are human or alien. At number 5 we have Brian the Burger. Currently at the number 1 spot on the stats viewer, Brian is an incredibly skilled and talented extreme demon grinder that has been beating numerous extreme demons recently. His hardest demon as of now is Spatial Rend, the number 2 hardest rated level. He is also known for his low attempt counts, such as less than 5000 attempts on Yadagarasu, resulting in a massive fluke. He was also the ninth person to complete the RGB trio, Yadagarasu, Erebus and Sonic Wave. At number 4 we have Sonix. He is the most popular and subscribed player on this list and currently number 3 on the stats viewer. Sonix doesn't have as many list demons completed as Brian because he stopped playing regularly after April 2018. In his prime, late 2016 to early 2018, he went on an absolute rampage, sometimes doing daily extreme demons and a total of 13 extreme demons in August 2018 alone. That's almost an extreme demon every two days for an extended period of time. Sonix is known for having great muscle memory, allowing him to quickly learn levels as well as his rapid increase in consistency over time, the ultimate package for a skilled GD player. At number 3 we have Wuxi. He has multiple achievements to classify him as an alien player. First of all, he beat Blade of Justice less than 2 hours after it was released. Back then it was the number 23 hardest level and he completed it with ease. He was even the number 1 on the stats sphere for quite some time, overtaking Sonix for a few months. Also, he verified Crimson Planet, currently the second or third hardest level ever to be beaten, although sadly Robtop didn't get around to rating it. This only took 5 months, unlike some other verification projects such as Bloodlust, Deimos, Black Blizzard and Coretta, which took much longer. Not to mention that he beat Lucid Nightmares, Sonic Wave, Devil Vortex and Plasm Pulse Finale all in less than a 2 week span. When Wuxi gets these bursts in motivation, he can shock everyone with his immense skill. The reason why he hasn't done as much as the likes of Sonics or Diamond Splash is because he was inactive for some periods of time, not allowing him to catch up with the rest of the stats viewer leaders. At number 2 we have Enswish. Arguably the most unknown on this list and with less than 1000 subscribers, Enswish is a player that has been rapidly increasing his skill recently. Although he is a bypass user, his skill cannot simply be discredited like he's a no clipper or speed hacker. Just 4 months ago was when his extreme demon streak started. He managed to beat the current top 3 demons, Bloodlust, Spatial Ren and Plasma Pulse Finale in one month span, which is probably something Sonix couldn't have even done in his prime. Just a week or so ago, he beat Yadagarasu and Erebus with less than a day's gap in between them. His crowning achievement is that he has the top 9 hardest demons completed as of now and is going for the top 10, which was last done by Sonix in early 2018. The fact that he's rising so fast in skill after only 4 months of serious list demon grinding is absolutely impressive. At number 1 we have Lukalizer. Lukalizer is a 60Hz player that is accomplishing many things that I can't even do on 240Hz. He beat the whole Hell series, being the first 60Hz player to do so other than the Verifier. He even beat Subversive, a top 100 demon in less than 7 hours of practicing it. He completed over a thousand total demons and 23 extended list levels which are almost all extreme demon difficulty. He verified super probably level sitting at number 60 on the list. He also verified kinetic bypass and audio expulsion both of which are top 50 difficulty and just recently beat artificial ascent, the hardest level ever beaten on a 60hz monitor. Even on mobile he beat Skytech and did an 8 attempt practice run on artificial ascent achieving 43% in his first attempt of the run. Words cannot describe what potential he is going to release if and when he upgrades to 144 or 240Hz. Who knows, Lukalizer could be beating Bloodlust in a matter of a few days.